let's say I was here and I took a bucket and I attached it to a rope. So I have my bucket and it's filled with water. And that bucket is going to be spinning with, I don't know, two revolutions per second. I think that's what the teacher gave us. And the length of the rope is going to be 0 0.6 meters. That's what the teacher said. How are you doing? Uh, 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 I'm trying to do this problem, but I don't really see how it works. Can you help me, teacher? Uh, you it's, want me to help you with what? Um, how do you convert this to Hertz frequency? So frequency is, you can write frequency is cycle over time. Oh, cycle over time? So, right. so write cycle. Cycle per second? Cycle over time. So Cycle over time. So T for time. T-I-M-E. All right, now the period is time over cycle. Oh. Hmm. Period is time over cycle. Two cycles every second. So two over one. That means that we'll have one over two instead. Good. And because time is in seconds, oh! It takes 0.5 seconds for one revolution. Free Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.